What's going on guys? Uh, my six month check in as per usual. Excuse me. Um, my A86 is really close. Uh, that's what I've got on the lift right here. I don't know what I had the last time I made a video. Um, I sold my E36 drift car. I bought a house and that's why I sold the drift car. Um, still flipping vehicles. I don't know. I still have my Indian, my moped, my RX-7, which I blew a rear end in. And short story, I blew the trans in my RX-7 too, but I already replaced that. When I put the trans on, there's this little fork arm that goes into the side of it, a clutch release bearing arm. Yeah, pivot arm, whatever you want to call it. And you have to put that in before you put the trans onto the motor. If not, you can't get that in because the arm opens up like this and the hole is like this big. So it has room for the arm to come out with a little ball on it. And um, yeah, I didn't do that. So I had to pull the trans back out of the RX-7. So when I put this motor in, uh, because I'm using an S2000 trans in this car as well, uh, I was like, Chris, you're not going to do that same mistake. You're going to put the arm in place. Bring it a little bit. Um, so I did that, except, oh, except I put the arm in facing the wrong way. So there's a little cup, and that's supposed to be facing uh, where your slave sonar will go to push, to catch the rod, to push and release the bearing. Um, that was facing forwards instead of backwards. So it doesn't matter how much I try to not fuck up, I still fuck up. That's what I do. So I'm going to show you here. I just fixed it. Uh, I pulled the trans back about, I don't know, an inch and a half or so. And here's the arm. So I can pull that out. I have room now to do, 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 which I didn't before. There we go. Turn this puppy around. Okay. And this is how it was in here. When I came down here to put this slave cylinder on, uh, which is laying up here. Shout out to MA Motorsport. They made this custom stainless braided line for me. Cool guys there. Um, they hooked it up. It's gone from the stock S uh, A86 uh, clutch master cylinder to the S2000 slave cylinder. And this guy now needs to go up there with this room that I created and then click into place. Cool. Perfect. That's how it's supposed to go. Or it can hang out because that needs to get behind the bearing, but it won't do that until this space is not there anymore. Trans needs to go forward. And um, it wasn't too bad. Pull the drive shaft, trans mount. And then like, I don't know, seven, eight bolts to hold this thing together. Now we'll go up top and um, show you what we're working with. We're so close to starting this thing up. Uh, all I need to do is put fuel in the tank, wire in the boost, boost solenoid, and I'm running Haltech everything. I've got a PD-16 I purchased. Let's see what we got going on here. I need to wire in the boost solenoid. I need to shorten some of these wires. No big deal. I've got a flex fuel sensor. I need to finish doing the gas lines because they're not hooked up to the rail yet. I have a radium rail on here now. I don't know where I was last time uh, I made a video. We've got this Koyo Rad, um, which doesn't have the best piping as you can see, but it works. I'm going to fix that, but for right now, just to get on the road, it works. Small E-fan, of course. Right now, when you turn the key on, the E-fan comes on. I've got five seconds soft start at half the amps, and then it kicks up to full blast. And I've got the starter hooked up to a momentary push button. Let's see if I can up on a ladder right now. Get over here, see what we got. So wiring mess. This looks fun, right? I'm going to delete most of these wires after the tune. There's the push button. Um, key controls the ECU and the PDM. And I've gotten to learn the Haltech system pretty well from uh, messing around with it. And it's not that hard once you understand it. It's, it's actually pretty easy. So all that's left is to program the fuel pump to come on uh, when you turn the key on. But I want to put fuel in the gas tank before I do that because otherwise it's going to run dry. And I need to hook these wires up so that we're not just spewing gas on the floor and whatnot. Not too much. Um, boost solenoid, a couple of vacuum hoses, you know, random stuff. And then we're pretty much good to go. Um, I've talked to Rick at Haltech. He's going to do a tune for me. He's all about it. He's like, yeah, I love your setup. It's dope. I've done this a thousand times. Not literally, but a, a lot close to it, I bet. And he's going to get me a tune for this thing, do a couple of uh, data logs and get her tuned up and good to go. I did start on the Model A motor. I decide which motor I'm going to go for that. I'm actually doing two motors. Uh, I don't know if I announced it last time or not. Announce. I'm not some fucking YouTube faggot. That's going to... So, here's my frame. I started to weld it up. It's really thick. My welder is 110. I need a 220. And I need to bevel the edges and just make my welds thicker because my welds, I can show you, are not that thick. They're coming off pretty a lot. It's, it's not good. 
Uh, so I'm going to do two K24s, one in the front, one in the back, both front wheel drive setups. They're cable actuated transes so that you can hook them up with just a NARP on the end of the cable. So you can technically put it in front wheel drive mode, rear wheel drive mode, um, no wheel drive mode, and just have two engines that it rev. <laughs> we'll do two Nexus R3s. Um, it's going to be expensive, couple year long project, but I'm starting to get that underway because the A86 is almost done. I forgot to show you, look at this new old stock front leaven grill that I just got from Ireland. Some dude was hoarding parts and he's trying to get out of the business. So I got this beautiful OEM Toyota 11 front end grill. Oh, that thing is hot. Okay, um, I'm gonna try to get this transmission back together and bolt it all back up, lower it down, and I'll get you another video cut to it as soon as I finish that. All right, another 45 minutes, give or take. And this is where we're at. All of that. For this i know to you all of that doesn't sound like that much but it's been about two hours um this is back on this has been heli coiled so i need to find out what size that is drive shaft is on i need slightly longer bolts and i need slightly longer bolts for my diff too so those are over there i'm gonna get them from ace tomorrow only got one in the rear uh two in the rear and one in the drive shaft up front Whew. okay so now we're gonna lower Oh, I can totally do this with one hand. I can't. It's a lot. We're gonna raise. Oh, wrong way. Sorry. 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 Uh, so yeah, it is uh, Friday, November 24th, uh, day after Thanksgiving. I'm trying to have this car on the road, turnkey. Good to go by like the end of December, but I'm going away in December on a couple of trips, so I'm not really sure if I'm going to get it done or not. We're gonna try though. Um, yeah, I really don't have that much left to do with it, just life gets in the way. I don't need to tell y'all. <sighs> Busy, getting into climbing too much, and uh, let's see what we got. All right, so I need to attach this guy using this to right here. We're going to go through. Uh, I think I'm just going to route this one around the front of the motor, at least for now. It's going to be ugly, but I don't care. It works. Um, yeah, I've got to reconnect this thing. Took that off. And there's a transmission plug somewhere right here that needs to get plugged back in. Cool. Yeah, that's really easy to do with one hand, you know? Uh, anyway, let's see what we get. I love this wheel so much. I don't know if I had it in the last video or not. I'll turn it on. We have the fan, five second soft start, cluster loads, fan kicks on, one touch off. We have, goes on here. Wideband is not reading. Uh, I know it read on my laptop, this cluster fuck of wires. Yeah, so I'm going to have a fuel pump, um, not to this, fuel pump's just going to come on, stay on until I turn the key off. Then I'm going to go running lights, headlights, a uh, two-step, um, and I got three more for other options. Maybe a line lock, maybe, so I can do burnouts, I don't know. But, um, yeah, we're, we're getting there. I love this quick release, I love this uh, steering wheel. Turn it off. Everything turns off. And once it tunes on here and it runs and drives, I bought the deep pinning tool so I can deep pin um, probably like 90% of these wires. This panel is going to get mounted up higher. Uh, I do need the heat to work. I guess one of those buttons will be for the heat as well. Turn it on and the heater just comes on. You either have heat or you don't. Oh, it's a fully caged car that's been engine swapped and battery relocated and whatnot. You, you know, you don't get the luxuries. Uh, the 8-button touch is cool if you haven't looked at them. Haltech gives you all of these sticker options. As you can see, flux capacitor, a little toad symbol, send it, afterburner, whatnot. All sorts of different stuff. You can do page up, page down. That connects to your IC7. I mean, it, it's all integrated into everything. So I've got the Elite 1500, PD16, 8-button touch, IC7, and the wideband controller. Uh, WB1, I believe it is. Oh, where is it? 
Oh yeah, it's down there. Okay, so it's mounted to the thing too, but this it's just an O2 sensor and you just wire it in. It's got uh, the same DTM4 cable uh, that plugs into everything. Um, yeah, so in, like I said in the last video, what I need to do to it still, not too much, but a little bit of work. This thing came in, um, like I said, it's awesome, but it had a broken tab. I messaged the guy and he was like, that's the first one that's ever happened. And I'm like, yeah, okay, sure. So I'm going to try to glue that back on, do some light sanding, and we'll see how terrible it turns out. Uh, but we're, uh, we're getting there. It is almost on the road. Like I said, hopefully by the end of December. You know how that goes. People say stuff and... It just keeps getting pushed back and back and back. It'll definitely be on the road by spring, 100%. If not, I will give this car away. Um, but I, I think by the end of December, it'll be on the road. So maybe I'll make a video before the next six months go by. If I didn't already mention it, uh, my RX-7 is off the road right now. I blew the rear in it. I picked up a 94 Cobra 8.8 .8 rear for it. It has disc brakes. And it's just one inch wider on each side. And that's going to go in the RX-7. Uh, I just have to find time to do it. I don't know if I could buy time. If anyone's selling time, hit me up. Thanks for watching. Talk to y'all in like two weeks or six months or two years. I don't know.